Hey day YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Completely Professional Beer Review. <laughs> I've got my straight edge honey hypocrite here, the Rhino, and we're drinking a beer. We're drinking the... <laughs> <laughs> totally professional, forgot what it is. Robson Street, I didn't for... it was Robson Street. Oh, I... I... It's the Hefeweizen by Granville Island. Yeah, it's a Hefeweizen. Robson Street Stupid. Hefeweizen, Granville Island. Uh, Granville Island Brewing Company is in BC. It is one of the street cred breweries for Molson. It is one of their craft oh, so breweries really like Creamore it. and, oh. and other such things. Street cred. It is 5% alcohol. Over here on the back it says, This unfiltered wheat ale is a West Coast favorite. Enjoy Robson Street Hefweizen chilled in a tall, slim glass. And although our brewmaster may scoff, a lemon wedge is the perfect accessory to the natural fruit flavors of this refreshing beer. <clears throat> nice. Let's get it on. I'm straight edge, man. Let's get it on. I'm going to use the albino, albino beer review beer opener. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we should totally do that. Straight edge. I'm drinking this under protest because I don't drink alcohol normally. Um, but Chad has told me that he is going to be responsible for me. And, and I responsible will make sure his pants are still on when he's in the ditch. He's a reverend. I trust him. He's part of our straight edge family. Straight edge. <laughs> Let's top up that edge bastard. I don't know. I think I should call my mom. A little much. Unfiltered. Nice head. Nice color. Um. Ooh, it's very like. It's like a brass, Ooh. brass or bronze. Brass monkey. <laughs> Give that a sniff. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, Very fruity. Yeah. It doesn't taste like macro piss. I'm fucking. Goddamn. By what. taste, you mean, you mean smell. smell? I don't know. I'm straight edge. I've never drank beer before. Straight edge. <laughs> no. Um. Smells like apple juice. <laughs> yeah. You get Yay. some. You get some citrus. You get some orange peel. I could see a lemon wedge working on this just off of the smell. Not gonna do it, but I can see it working. <laughs> That's for a couple of husbands. Lemon see wedges, it. really, really. That's what we're doing. It's a couple of husbands do that. It's gotta make sure that it's uh, it's all gone. We don't want to hurt the environment. Hey, you don't. At least I want not. That's true. It smells like there might be a little bit of banana in there too. So I'm getting like lemon, banana, and orange. Um. Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely nice uh nice banana. Yeah. Nice Very good sense. smell. Let's, Very good let's smell. drink her. Hopefully this works out. Well you never drank before, so you don't know. Interesting. Very soft, almost no carbonation. Yeah. It basically evaporates in your mouth. And not that I would know, I'd never drink beer. This apple juice, it seems to be very strong. This strange apple beverage, I don't know what it is. It's, it's really light-bodied for a wheat ale. Really mm. light-bodied. Yeah, like it... It hits and it's gone. It is, it's like a drive-by. Um, it's a drive-by fruit beer. It's actually very nice. You, you get a lot of orange off of it. You do get a little bit of banana. Yeah, there's yeah. there's there is some lemon, and again, after drinking it, I could see a lemon wedge actually doing something good for this. Yep, yep, maybe a little, uh, maybe a little spritz of uh, lemon juice in there. Stab but unlike of, uh, unlike some it. things like say Rickard's White, this doesn't need the fruit in it. This actually tastes fine as it is. Chad, are you saying Rickard's White doesn't stand on its own accord? I'm yes. shocked. That stuff is ass, by the way. It's Side note review. Yeah, side note here. Franklin's white. Fucking awful. Awful. Just tastes like ass. Oh, those guys came to Kaz's because they were trying to they're peddle their wares. They do all the time. Oh, man. They forced us to sit there and drink. It's like, which one do you find is the best? <laughs> like, the one I ordered? <laughs> this is not that. Well, these free ones are okay. You're drinking whiskey. Yeah. I, I, no, I don't drink whiskey because it's straight edge, but that's just, <laughs> that's just a story. People make this shit up about me all the time. I don't know what kind of What do you call Sprite? Whiskey. I, I really, you know what, I like it. I wouldn't drink it again because I don't necessarily dig the taste all that much. Um, but I think it's more of a, 
I don't necessarily like fruity beers all that much, so... I like it. It's a good Hefeweizen. I would drink it again. I would actually pay money for this again. I'm going to give it a 7.75. Really? Yes. That's it? You seem to be raving about it. 7.75, really? That's still pretty good. It's got a mountain on it. It's got a city on it. Looks like there's a city in the background. He's not going to rape a bitch for the beer, but... <laughs> buy it again. He won't rape a bitch. Um, because I'm completely experienced. Straight edge. Um, this, uh, yeah, you know what? I could see people really liking this. I myself don't like it because I don't necessarily like fruity beers all that much. But I can see the appeal of it. Um, it's got a good smell. Um, I like the label. Label's all, label's all over the place. Um, it's kind of cool. Got a lot of different stuff on there. It's kind of funky. Kind of funky. Funky monkey. A little bit of funky. Fast monkey. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I personally would throw a lemon wedge in this just because, you know, maybe offset a bit. But um, I wouldn't get it again just because I don't particularly like the taste. I see the appeal of it. I'm going to give it a 6.5. Alrighty, a 7.75 and a 6.5 from the Honey Hypocrite and the Rhino. Straight edge. I don't Thank know anything about beer because I don't drink beer. Straight edge. Bye bye. Edge of straightness. Straight edge. Is this what straight edge is really? <laughs> they put two X's on their hands. That's how you denote them. Uh, well, yes, because it started originally in uh, Washington D.C. to let underagers into shows. Cause they always right, right. They put the X on their hands. Yeah. So you knew that they were underage, and that became a kind of denote. Uh, so okay. if they get like the two X Wolverine kind of thing. Yeah, so it's like I mean, like okay, that kid can't X. drink. So they just, then people that just didn't drink in general start taking it onto the, themselves. We're like, okay, let's put X there, so you know I don't drink because I'm not supposed to, or I choose not to, whatever. Why wouldn't you just not drink? I'm confused. Well, they're part of a movement, apparently. I don't fucking get it. <laughs> part of a movement for what? Uh, not drinking. Hipsters. They they understand yeah. that life is a good time after you drink, right? Like life is much better when you're drunk, eighty oh, yeah. percent of the time. You people don't understand how sucky life is. Life sucks total balls. And then you find alcohol and drugs. It gets so much better. So much better. Well, I'm pretty sure we proved that the fact that we do a beer review. All the time. All the time. It's so much better. It's so much better. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know how strategic people do it. I think it's like some weird thing. I don't know. It's like Christian people, you know? It's like Mandy. Mandy won't. I don't like to get drunk. It's evil. Like, how is drunk getting drunk evil? I'm evil. They drink the yes. Blood. They drink the blood of Christ. The alcohol isn't evil. Well, that's fine. The blood of Christ is cool. Yeah. You put a little bit of dash dash in there. <laughs> oh, the blood of Christ. Oh, that's a spicy meatball. Oh, <laughs> I love it. 